excited this afternoon because uh, this day is very special day sa ating lahat. We're opening a brand new series and we're calling it We The Fam. I know you've heard this and you've seen this uh, on all our social media accounts, but I know mas maintindihan natin kung ano ibig sabihin ng pamilya or family. And today, not just a spe- special day, kundi alam ko sa atin dito, may in-instore ang Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin dito, why family is all about. And anyway, this series will run for 10 weeks. Talagang babakbakin tayo what family is all about or the keys to ha- a happy family. You know, when it comes to family, there are a lot of definitions, di ba? And uh, if we're going to see the the perspective of what family is all about, it's broad. And if you're going to see the spectrum of family, talagang grabe ang daming definition, Pastor. But of course, bago lumawak yan, may purpose yan at merong pinagmulan yan. And that's what we're going to look at this afternoon because the title of this message is Family is Blank. Family is, I don't know, some of you here, you have definition, you have your own version or definition of what family is all about. And some of you here may, might think that family is all about gang. Family is all about group of people. Families consist of father, mother, and then children. That's right. But what is, what is a family? I have here a clear definition what family is all about. It says here, a fundamental social group in society typically consisting of one or two parents and their children. I know we have our own family. The reason you're here, it's because you have your own family. You're, you're the child, one of their children. And uh, lumabas ka, nagmahala ng mga magulang mo. You have your family, right? You have your biological family, your father and the mother, and then bang, there is Mark, there is Matt. And that's what we call family. And sabi dito, two or more people who share goals and values. So sa atin dito, I believe family is not just about biological something, right? Kasi pag sinabi natin biological family, dapat kadugo, lumabas kay nanay, at nanggaling kay tatay. But family, the mere fact that we're sharing our goal, we're sharing our vision and our values, that's what we call family. That's why I believe that this church is one family. We share our goal, we share our vision, we share our values, and we join together, we eat together, and this church is called family. Not just that, it says here, have long-term commitments to one another. Diba, sa, naalala nyo ba nung kinasal yung mga magulang ninyo? Of course, hindi nyo naabutan yun. Kasi, video na lang napapanood din nyo. They had this vow of matrimony. Na talagang through thick and thin, talagang uh, sa hirap at ginhawa, magmamahalan, uray matayon, hindi ako mag, uh, hindi ako kakalas. So, this is a long-term goals. They, they said their commitment and they have committed their lives to one another. Kaya minsan, pag may divorce, may split, may brokenness, nakakalungkot. Instead na mas nagiging committed sila, ang nangyayari, kumikitid yung relationship. And in this church, I believe, because this is a family, the moment you entered in the ministry and you had a covenant with God, God, I will serve you, I will love you, and I will love the people. That is our commitment. That last year, some of our ministers took their oath, saying to God, God, uh, um, I promise you, I'm, we're doing a covenant, I'm doing a promise, I'm doing a commitment that no matter what happens, rain or shine, whether may bagyo o wala, because I committed myself to you, I will stay. And that is what family is all about. Family, hindi yung pag na trip ka lang, ayoko na dyan, pamilya na yun, wala namang kwenta dyan, aalis na lang ako. No, it says here, have long terms to one another, and not just that, and reside usually in the same dwelling place. When you have your family, you live in one bubong. Right? So yung iba dito, uh, meron lang apartment, or medyo uh, yung may mga bahay yung mga magulang, nagiging take, ano lang sila, caretaker, kagaya ko, caretaker ako nung 
uh, bahay ng pamilya ko, so doon ako nakatira. But pagsabi natin, we usually, we're intact. We're living in one roof. It's, it, it means, pwede rin dito mangyari sa church natin. We serve in one roof. We serve uh, with one baptism, one Lord, one faith. And this is what we call family. And I want you to understand really what family is all about that leads us to uh, our point number one. It says here, family is the basic unit of society. Ang basic unit of society dito, sabi dito, not animals. Ang pag-asa ng bansa ay hindi animal. Ang pag-asa ng bansa or ang isang bansa ay lalakas kasi merong friends. Hindi ginamit dito, friends is the basic unit of society. Hindi sinabi dito, jowa is the basic unit of society. Hindi rin sinabi dito, co-workers or the basic unit of society, family is. And this basic idea of what family is all about, it's major. You know, the reason sometimes we're not perfecting the major because we don't know and we, we sometimes forget the basic. Before you compute numbers and problems sa isang algebra, you have to know the basic. M does, subtraction, addition, division, etc. Before you compute and you know the formula of algebra. Same sa atin. You want our nation get well? We have to go to the basic and that is our family. If you want our nation get well and be okay, then we have to fix our family first. Because you cannot, you cannot build a building without its basic foundations. And I want to give you a basic idea of what family is all about. You know, I know you're, you're very in, uh, uh, into or you're, maybe you're, you're aware with the Ten Commandments of God. Kung papansinin natin from First Commandment up to Fourth Commandment, it talks about how to improve our relationship with God. First Commandment, no gods. Second Commandment, do not carve any idols. Third Commandment, Thou shall not uh, use the name of the Lord in vain. Kasi pag ginagamit natin ang pangalan ng Panginoon sa kasamaan, nagkakasala tayo. Kasabihin natin, Dad, Mom, uh, I'll go to Bible study with my friends. Pero nakikipag-date. That's the time you're sinning. Do not use the name of the Lord in vain. And in Fourth Commandment, it talks about, hey, you have to remember our Sabbath. So this for first, second, third Fourth commandment, it talks about our relationship with God. Paano natin may improve? Paano tayo makapag-focus sa Panginoon? But did you know, in Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, it says here, Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Here's the thing. From fifth commandment to tenth commandment, it talks about how to improve our relationship with other people. So, fifth commandment, we have to honor our parents. Sixth commandment, uh, do not murder. Uh, seven, do not steal. Eight, do not uh, commit adultery. Nine, do not, do not uh, bear false witnesses to your neighbors. And then, tenth commandment is do not covet. Pero hindi nyo ba napapansin, hindi pa kayo nagtataka, bakit inuna ang family? Because here's the thing. How can we honor the authorities? How can we honor our teachers? How can we honor the government? How can we honor our pastors, our day group leaders, our professors if we don't know how to honor our family? That the training ground of honoring other people is honoring our family. How can you honor your pastor? How can you honor your professor if you don't know how to honor your, your, your parents, your, your family? Sabi mo, Pastor, I love you. Atitin, I love you. I love the church. I love uh, my professors. Pero pagdating sa bahay, makamura ka sa pamilya mo iba. You know, God uses our home as a training ground so that we can honor and respect and love other people. Gusto niyong mahalin ng ibang tao? 
practice tayo sa bahay. Because discipleship starts at home. Alam niyo ba yun? Discipleship starts at home. Nagumpisa ang discipleship at ang pag-honor at ang pagmamahal hindi sa eskwelahan. Hindi rin sa simbahan, kundi sa tahanan. And this is one of the basics of God. You know, kung papansin ninyo yung Bible, kung, Bible, kung pag-aaralan yung mabuti, the first institution God created is not the government. It's not even the church, but family. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, God created the family. The first institution He established and erected. And then, followed by the government. If you're going to read Genesis chapter 11, that's the time government was established. Remember Nimrod? I, uh, yung kay, uh, uh, Herod, yung, yung Tower of Babel? Doon na establish ang gobyerno. And then church was established in uh, Acts chapter 2. So ang unang inestablish ng Panginoon ay ang pamilya. And this is one of the basics of God. At sa atin dito, maganda, let us first build the strong foundation of our family before anything else. Before we create a great foundation sa simbahan, great foundation maybe sa eskwelahan, sa gobyerno, family first. In our society today, many of our families have a foundation problem. I want to give you a very practical illustration. For example, this church, or this building, this is not a church, you are the church. Remove the notion that this is a church, this is just a building, we are the church. So this is building, at itong building na to, meron mga walls ito, for example. O talaga may walls yan, hindi for example, talaga may walls. Now, pag may nakita tayong crack dito sa mga walls ng building na ito, hindi natin sasabihin na, ay grabe, na si Architect Jamie. Ang problema ng wall na to hindi yung may crack siya. Ay, Architect, Engineer, may crack ito. Masilyahin natin, tapalan natin, no. Ang problema ng wall na to kung bakit may crack ay hindi dahil may crack siya. Ang problema ng wall na to, kung bakit may crack siya, kasi meron siyang faulty foundation. At yun ang dapat nating ayusin. That sometimes, we spend all our time, our money, focusing on fixing the cracks rather than solidifying the foundation. Kaya pansin niyo minsan sa mga sa family natin. Sabihin natin, Dad, yung kapatid ko na naman, umiiyak na naman, yung anak mo umiiyak na naman. Ah, ganun ba? Sige, uh, dapat sumaya siya. Han, bilan mo ng iPad. Those are plasters. Those are masilya na hindi makakabuo at hindi makakasolidify ng foundation. Those are lame, temporary plasters na cover natin dito but still, we have a faulty foundation. Nasabihin natin, Dad, uh, lungkot ako eh. Ano mang gagawin ko? Ah, anak, mag ka. Those are plasters. Those are masilya. Those are temporary. Tayo bilang believers, as one family, one faith, one Lord, one baptism, we have to aim and solidify our foundation. It is clear today that because of this, there is family chaos in our world. Remember this, cracks will always appear if we will not solidify the foundation. Why there is hate in our nation? Why there are people who rebel against with their parents? Why we're seeing brokenness left and right, divorce, split? Why we're seeing each family fail? You know why? Because somehow the foundation of our families are not that strong. I like what Vladimir Lenin, he is a theorist, he is an activist, he said, hey, when the family is destroyed, the country perishes. If you want to perish and if you want to destroy one nation, you have to destroy the family inside that nation. 
dahil ang pag-asa ng isang bansa ay ang mga pamilya. If we have good fam- great families inside that nation, we will see that nation be well at aangat. The reason why maybe the rate of broken families in our nation is rising, actually 10%, and taas. The stat of, you know, 45% of Filipino families, are fe- they, they felt that they're poor. The rate of out-of-school youth is rising. The rate of, you know, suicidal young people or maybe yung mga nagiging drug addict, yung mga hindi nakakapagtapos because somehow our family is not that solid. You want our family to become successful or maybe yung mga group member dito, we have to solidify the foundation of our family. If we want to have a good and healthy nation, let's make a change and make sure that our family is healthy. Alam nyo bang pamilya ay parang mga cells sa katawan natin? Pag ang cells ng katawan natin ay maayos, anong mag- maging blooming ka, di ba? Grabe! Pare, nakaturog ka. 10 hours. Ang ganda ng cells mo kasi nag-regenerate yung mga cells mo. What if yung mga cells mo patay lahat? Ang pangit mo. Hindi lang yun. Pag ginanon mo yung katawan mo, may lalabas na parang lupa. ba? Libag. Gusto nyo ba ang nation natin maging libag? No. We're praying that each family, every family will be solid when it comes to loving one another, uniting one another, and encouraging one another. Kaya minsan ang nation natin, nagkakaroon ng mga libag because there are family inside that nation, hindi okay. Why we're seeing failures and faulty foundations in our families? Because we redefine the definition of family. Alam nyo, the closer God is to the foundation of the family, the more order and productivity there is in the family. If we know the biblical definition of what family is all about, we will see productivity, we will see order in our house, in our home, in our nation. But the further God is from the definition of the family, the more chaos is experienced, not only in the family, but everywhere else the family interacts. So we're going to read Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. If you have your Bible, open it. It says here, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that, cre- that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. That leads us to point number two. What does these verses mean? It means that the family is the visible picture of God Himself. Let me explain that to you. Medyo theological, that's why I want you to listen very carefully so that you will understand the purpose of family, what family is all about. That the family is the visible picture of God Himself. Did you know that family is God's agenda? That family is God's idea? In fact, God pictured family to Himself. Let's read this, verse 26. It says here, Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. I want you to underline that one word, us. Us. Itong us na to, this one, this is the first hint that God is a triune God. We believe that God is one 
exist in three distinct persons. God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ang tawag dyan is Godhead or Trinity, Holy Trinity. Sa Bible, wala kang makikita or mababasang nakasulat na Trinity. Pero maraming accounts sa Bible na makikita natin that the, God, the, the Father, Son, and the Spirit, they're talking to each other. And this is the first hint. Some theologians said, sinabi niya to na, let us make man in our image. Parang sinasabi ng Panginoon, it, sinabi niya to ito sa mga angels, sa heavenly court. Hey, angels, gawin natin ang tao kagaya natin kamukha ninyo. No. Ang nag-uusap dito ay yung Trinity. Father, Son, and the Spirit. Now, listen very carefully. First, we see the word us. Us, it refers the triune God. Pag sinabi natin triune God, Father, Son, and Spirit. And the Trinity consists of three individuals and unique persons who make up the one unified reality of the Godhead. So meron, pag tinanong ka, ay sinong Diyos mo? We have one God, exists in three distinct persons. Father, Son, and the Spirit. Do you get it? Ang tawag natin doon is Trinity, or Trian God, or Godhead. One what, and three whos. What, one God? We believe in one God, exists in three distinct persons. Ulit-ulitin ko so that you will understand that. So now, when He creates family, look at this, He creates like Him. Ang family natin consists of male, female, offspring, or children. Right? What God wanted to do was to create a Trinitarian appearance or picture na kagaya ng meron sa langit. That family is supposed to mirror the Trinity. At sabi dito, let us make man like us, male, female, and children, but one unit. Ang Panginoon, one God, exists in three distinct persons, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ang family, may nanay, may tatay, may anak, pero ang tawag sa kanila ay isang unit which is family. Kaya every time we see our family, we see the image of God. That's why kung sasabihin mo sa mga magulang mo, Dad, I don't like this family. Ang pangit. Parang sinasabi mo sa Panginoon, ang pangit mo, Diyos. Ang pangit mo. Why? Because we mirror God's image. Ulitin ko, Godhead exists in three distinct persons, Father, Son, and Spirit. Ang, ang tawag sa kanila, one God. Ang family natin consists of male, female, offspring, children. Ang tawag sa kanila, one unit, and that's what we call family. We have one God and has three distinct persons. Same, same as sa, sa family natin. Secondly, look at this. We see the commission of mankind that is to bear this Trinitarian image of God. An image is simply a mirror of reflection. When we look at the mirror, we see the reflection. Ganun din sa atin. Every time we see ourselves, we see God. Bakit? Look at this. Because God created humanity with body, soul, and spirit to mirror Him. Anong tawag sa'yo? tao. But did you know that we have three beings? Ang tawag dyan ay tripartite being. You have body, you have soul, and you have the spirit. Ang Panginoon, ulitin ko, one God exists of three distinct persons. Father, Son, and Spirit. Same to us. We have one body kung anong nahawakan natin, kung anong nakikita natin, and you have soul. Alam niyo kung ano ang soul? Ito yung nagsasalita, ito yung nasasaktan, ito yung may emotions, ito yung may will. At yung spirit, ito yung hininga ng Panginoon. Kaya pag hindi natin i-feed ito, 
pumapayat yung spirit natin. Ang taba mo, pare, doko yung gutawa mo, ha? musang spiritual mo. Okay naman, <laughs> di ba? So every time we see ourselves, we mirror God's image. Kaya pag sinabi mo sa tao, Mat, ang pangit mo! You're like saying, ang pangit ng Panginoon. Bakit? You were created and you were, you were uh, uh, created sa image ng Panginoon. Therefore, the goal of people in general and the family in particular is to mirror God in the visible realm based on His reality in the invisible. Ang Panginoon, His invisible, nasa langit sila, but this is what happened. This is, this is what really occurs in heaven. God exists in three distinct persons at gusto niya ipakita rin dito kung anong itsura sa langit pag tinignan mo yung sarili mo. Because you are created in His own image and likeness. That the family is to be the visible picture of God Himself. That's number two. And number three, I want to highlight, last point, family is manufactured by God. Family is manufactured by God. I remember, I think three months ago, four months ago, uh, nagpagawa ako ng bahay. I mean, yung mga socket doon, yung mga uh, uh, electric wires, and I called Romeo. Nandiyo ba si Romeo? Uh, yun, si Romeo, sabi ko, tinawag ko, sabi ko, Romeo, can you just go in our house? Naks English, no? Sabi ko, ah, oo, sige po, sige po. Tapos, pumunta siya doon, pakicheck nga doon kasi hindi gumagaling ibang socket, yung mga wirings ko, putol-putol yata. Then, 7.30 pa lang, nandun na siya. Makakatok na siya, talagang nabulabog na ako. Waga mo, ha? Uh, so, pumunta ako si Romeo dito. Kasi, inindyan ako ni Kuya Gerald. Hindi uh, niya ako tinulungan. Eh. Wala tayo kasi yung bayad eh. <laughs> so, tapos, di, andun na si Romeo. Tapos, nag-speculate kami. We probed the area. And then, chinect niya yung mga wirings. Ginawa niya yung mga, ang galing nitong batang ito. Sabi, pag gusto niyo ng wirings, kuryente man yan. Talagang magaling magkuryente yan. Kukuryente yan yan. So, inaayos niya lahat ng mga wirings. Yung mga sira, yung mga pangit, yung mga bulok, gumanda. Tapos, may isa lang kami hindi makita ang connection. Pastor, hindi, teka, hindi ko makita yung connection dito eh. Tinignan ko naman dito sa breaker, dito kung naka-series ba to, kung naka-parallel ba to, hindi ko alam. Mga sinasabi niya, wow, sige, oh, oh, hindi ko alam. Basta ano, umuho na lang ako eh. Tapos, uh, nag, nabi ko, hanapin natin mabuti. For one hour, we're looking for that unwired and caught connect- connection. And then I tried to call my dad. Sabi ko, dad? Uh, we have a problem. No? <laughs> ano yun, anak? Sabi niya, hindi kasi, alam mo ba yung blueprint nitong bahay natin sa Lakayanga? Kasi may putol na connection dito, hindi namin mahanap. Ay, anak, hindi ko din alam yan. <laughs> ang gawin mo, tawagan mo si engineer Bernard Cabansag. Siya ang gumawa dyan, and, and he has the blueprint, or he has the idea uh, where that connection is, was. Sabi niya, Okay po. And then sakto si Romeo, kaibigan niya si uh, engineer Bernard Cabansag. And then tinawagan niya, Ilocano pa nga eh. Tapos nag-uusap sila. And then sabi niya dito, bro, uh, uh, engineer, hindi namin mahanap yung isang connection dito na pinutol or whatever. Eh. And then sabi ni engineer Bernard, ah, naalala ko na. Punta kayo sa master's, bed, sa master's bedroom and then may putol na connection doon, tignan mo sa ilalim. And then, pagkakita namin, putol nga. And then, I really understand. And I understood, ha, ah, kaya pala madalas, hinahanap ang mga architect, hinahanap ang mga engineer, kapag may mga aberya sa isang bahay, kasi they know the blueprint. They know the, the plan. They know how to troubleshoot kung anong problema ng isang bahay because they have the blueprint. Same as sa Panginoon natin. In our family, if you want to get fixed, in your family to get fixed, you have to go to the original manufacturer and that is God. You want our family get fixed? 
You have to go to the original architect, original engineer of life and family, and that is God. Because our God, He has a warranty. Alam niyo, pag bumili tayo ng kotse, may warranty and one year, five years maybe. Pag bumili ka ng oven, six months, three months. Uh, pag may cellphone ka, bumili ka, may warranty yan. Uh, factory defect, one year. But the good thing about our manufacturer, he has a lifetime warranty for every family. Kaya minsan nagtataka tayo, Lord, pumunta naman na kami sa guidance counselor ah. Pumunta rin kami kay pastor. Kay father, pumunta na kami. Kay mayor, pumunta na kami pero hindi pa rin maayos itong pamilya namin. One thing, hey, you have to go to the original manufacturer of family and that is God. He knows how, how to fix your trouble. He knows how to fix your brokenness. He's the author. He's the architect. He is the engineer. Therefore, he knows how to deal with it. See, family is God's idea. This is not a social institution alone. It is a spiritual institution for the society. So, ang assurance natin ay wala sa society. Dahil ginawa ito ng Panginoon, hindi ng society. And you know, the society cannot give us a warranty. We have to go back to the original manufacturer of family and that is God. Now, maybe you're asking, Pastor, nagtataka lang ako ah. Um, okay din naman yung pamilya ko. Pero minsan naiisip ko, bakit kapag ginawa itong pamilyang ito? Impyerno itong pamilyang ito. Ayoko na dito sa pamilyang ito. That's why sometimes, Pastor, I'm asking the Lord, I'm asking myself, why was the family created? Bakit ginawa pang pamilya? Di ba pwede mag-isa na lang tayo? Para kanya-kanya na lang, wala nang pakalamanan, itong gagawin ko, wala silang pakalam. Lagi na akong naririnig, sasabihin sa akin, hudas ka, hudas ka, lumayas ka na dito, walang kwenta, whatever. Why was family created? Maybe some of you here, you're asking that question. So I'll let me explain to you the purpose of family. The Bible said in verse 26, Then God said, Let us make man in our image. I want you to underline that after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Now, I want you to under, uh, understand this very well. The goal of our family is not your happiness. This is just a benefit of a family. Alam nyo, pag alam natin ang purpose, we will experience the benefit. But if we do not know the purpose of what family is all about, we will miss the benefit. Kapag pumunta na tayo agad, Lord, gusto ko ng benefit. And if you don't know the purpose, you will miss them both. Now, what's the purpose? It says here, let them have dominion. I want you to underline that. Let them have dominion or let them rule. The purpose is this. Listen very carefully. God said, I have created the family to rule on my behalf. I created the Ruiz family. I created Shello family. I created Yambao family. I created Galenzogas family. To what? To rule the earth on my behalf. At ipakita kung gaano kaganda ang image ng Holy Trinity. We're like ambassadors of God. Gomez family is God's ambassador. Gomez family, rule paniki on my behalf. That's why if we're ruling, sabi dito, nakalagay dito ang ganda eh, Let them have dominion. Dominion means to rule. Over the fish of the sea and over the birds and heavens or other livestock and the earth and 
over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. The purpose of family is to what? To rule the earth on God's behalf. Now, ang question natin ngayon, are we ruling the world, the earth, every creature sa God's will? If not, doon tayo nakakakita ng problema sa nation natin. Sa mundo natin. If we rule the earth well, benefit will be seen and that is happiness. You know, sometimes the reason many of us believers are struggling in our families is that we want God to bless our agenda for our home rather than fulfilling His agenda. Sinasabi natin madalas sa family natin, Lord, bless my family ko para sumaya kami. Nope. But this is, it should be and supposed to be. Lord, I want to rule what you have entrusted to us with my family according to your image and will. And that's the time we will see the benefit and that is happiness. Will ba ni Lord na honor natin ng parents natin? Yes. Will ba ni Lord na mahalin tayo ng parents natin? Yes. Will ba ni Lord na alagaan natin yung mga pinagkatiwala sa ating nature and mga blessings sa atin? Yes. And if we do that, we will see the benefit of the purpose of the family. If our goal is the benefit, we miss the purpose. And if we miss the purpose, we miss them both. Purpose and benefit. In verse 28, it says here, And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. And fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. I want you to underline that, be fruitful and multiply. But kaya sinabi to ng Panginoon, be fruitful and multiply. Parang kawig to ng Matthew chapter 28. Ah. Make disciples... Go and make disciples of all nations. Parang parehas ito ah. But you know, if you're going to read Genesis chapter 1, verse 22, it says here, parang naulit eh. And God blessed them. This is the fifth day. Kung kailan ginawa ng Panginoon ng mga birds. Saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. But here's the thing. Nung sinabi ng Panginoon ito sa mga birds at sa fifth day, Walang sinabi ang Panginoon na kagaya natin. Let us create the birds in our own image and likeness. Wala. Kaya ang hayop at ang tao ay magkaiba. Kaya ang mga tao ay hindi hayop. Ang mga tayo, tao ay minamahal. Ang hayop, nandyan, minsan sinisipa natin but it doesn't mean na ang tao sipain din dahil magkaiba sila dahil ang tao ay ginawa na kawangis ng Panginoon sometimes mas mahal natin yung mga hayop natin kaysa mga tao no binibilihan ng ang dami pagkain ikaw yung tira na lang dyan whatever ang pinapa grabe oh did you know Kung bakit sinabi ng Panginoon sa verse 28, God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Ay, pastor, alam ko na kung bakit. Para magkara- magkaroon kami ng maraming anak. So, gusto ko yun. Gusto natin yun. For example, si Kuya JP. Di ba si Kuya JP? Siya lang kasi mo yung asawa. Yung asawa na ba kayo? Okay. Ayun. Oh, si Kuya JP, anong tawag mo sa Emeline? Wow, baby ha. Ako pag nagkaroon, bebe. <laughs> si Kuya JP, hindi niya sasabihin kay Emeline na, uh, Baby, gusto kong magkaroon tayo ng mga babies and children, pero gusto ko yung kamukhang kamukha ko ha. Yung as in, clone, parang kagaya ko. No, it's not that. It's not like that. 
Did you know that the purpose of raising children is not to have a lookalikes? But it, it is to duplicate the image of God. So as they spread, the image of God spreads. Nung sinabi niya ito, hindi niya sinabi, okay, magpakarami kayo para maging kamukha niyo ako in physical appearance. No, 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 hindi yun ang ibig sabihin nun. Nung sinabi ng Panginoon, I created you in my own image and my likeness, hindi ibig sabihin, kamukha natin ng Panginoon sa physical appearance. Kasi I, I heard this, this uh, debater or this, I think he's a pastor, pero uh, iba, taliwas yung turo, may, may nagtanong sa kanya, may puwet po bang Diyos? At ginamit ito, we're created in His own image and likeness, malamang may puwet. At ginamit pang verse ay, He's now sitting at the right throne of God. Kung nakaupo sa trono ang Diyos, malamang may puwet. <laughs> so kung walang puwet, paano maglakad, di ba? <sighs> But I want you to understand this. The Hebrew word for salam is meaning image. Look at this. Image or salam meaning is a representative in physical form, not a representation of the physical appearance. What does this mean? Yung image na binanggit dito ay hindi ibig sabihin na kamukha natin ng Diyos sa physical appearance. Image means we mirror God's attitudes. We mirror God's expressions. We mirror God's character trait. Kaya pansin din nyo, kapag nagkakamali tayo, sometimes we're committing sin, it convicts us. Why? Because God gave us an instinct, a godly instinct and a godly nature sa buhay natin. Because whether you like it or not, God put a seed in your heart like God. Kaya pansin nyo, pag minuran nyo yung mga magulang nyo, mamaya-maya, ay mali yung ginawa ko. That's godly nature and that is the image of God. We're being convicted. And this means God wants to fill the earth full of people like Him. Here's the thing. Magkakaanak ako, magkakaanak si Pao, magkakaanak si Christine, si Joseph, magkakaanak si Gio, si, tayo lahat magkakaanak dito. Bakit tayo magkakaanak? Dahil ba wala, gusto ko lang anak-anak. Anak-anak lang. Hindi. Kung bakit tayo magkakaanak? Because God wants us to replicate, to duplicate, and to relocate our children because our children and us as well, we are the image of God. Kaya kapag pumunta tayo sa Pura, sa Mongkada, sa Tarlac, pag nagkaanak tayo, pumunta ng New York, pumunta ng Amerika, ng Africa, ng Asia Minor, whatever, ibig sabihin, we're relocating the image of God. So we are hoping and we're creating family or we are establishing family because we want to duplicate and to relocate the image of God in every area, municipality, region, nation, continent, whatever, because we are the image of God. And here's the question. Nakikita ba yung image ng Panginoon sa pamilya natin? Are we ruling the earth well? Na kapag pumunta tayo sa mall, pag pumunta tayo sa computer shop, pumunta tayo sa mga coffee shop, grabe, I can see the image of God to Him. Here's the question as I end. Does the image of God reflect in our family? Do we honor our family? Do we honor our parents? Kasi alam nyo ba, yung binasa natin kanina, Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, honor our parents, our father and mother. That is a picture of Jesus honoring His own father. Yes, I'm willing to die for all the sins of this mankind. The question is this, do we love our children like what father did? 
sa mga magulang po na nanonood ngayon, mahal po ba natin ang ating mga anak kagaya ng pagmamahal ng Ama sa atin sa pamagitan ni Jesus Christ? The reason Jesus was sent because God the Father wants to reveal His love through Jesus Christ. Not just that, sa mga mag-asawa po, do you love your spouse? Husbands, do you love your wife? Wives, do you love your husbands? Because that is the picture of the church. That is the picture of the church. Husbands, love your wife. That someday tayo bilang mga wife ng Panginoon ay susunduin tayo. Jesus is our bridegroom. We are His brides. We're His bride. Kaya maganda sa atin dito, soon magkakaasawa ka. You have to love your husband. You have to love your wife. You know, we have to honor them because God modeled it. And if you know that God modeled it, I have to follow it. Some of you here, maybe you're still thinking, what's the definition of family? Simply lang, I want to tell this, that family is my power. Family is my happiness. Family is my asset. Family is my priority. Family is my best partner. Family is my calling. And family is the happiest place on earth. That's why I will love my family. No matter what happens, I'm going to love my family. And this is the time God will build His family. It's about what Bahai, it's about what Simbahan, it's about what Gobierno, because He likes His promise. And I will build my church, even our family. Come on, stand on your feet and sing this song together. Build your church, build your church, build it from the ground up. Come on, everybody. Build your church. Woo! Build your church. Build our family. Build your church. Build our church. Build it from the ground up. Build our relationship. Build our relationship. Our relationship. Build your church. Build your church. Build your church. Build it from the ground up. It's your church. Come on. Build your church. Build your church, build it from the ground, upon this rock, you build your church, as the gates of hell will not prevail, when we ride and lose, we proclaim as in Jesus' name, we will not fail. Upon this rock, you build your church. And the gates of hell will not be there. Father, thank you for your love through Jesus Christ. Salamat po dahil 
every day you're blessing us you're blessing our family oh god lord we pray that if there are people if there are families inside this church are broken oh lord fix us oh god we're offering it to you because you are the architect and the engineer of our faith and our family and our life so that we're going back to the original manufacturer of family and that is you lord i pray that each of us here each family each household oh god every household will believe in your name fix us oh god we surrender everything to you we want to know the purpose well and we want to see its benefit in jesus name at lahat ng pinagpala ng panginoon ay magsabi ng hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah